Good morning, Copper Basin. Today is Thursday, May 12, 2016. I'm Kimmy. I'm Lenny, and on today's show, we will be talking about the election, a long lost dog, and the bathroom bill. So let's get the show started. You can see the world you brought to life. To life. So love me like you do. La 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 me. Shifting swiftly to the general election, Donald Trump says he's narrowed his list of potential running mates to five or six people and doesn't want to accept public money to finance a fall campaign against likely Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. But in a break from recent major party nominees, Trump does not plan to invest heavily in a data-driven effort to target voters in the, fall, in the fall campaign. Despite pressure, the billionaire businessman also does not expect to release his tax returns before the November election. Now let's go to weather with Lainey. Today has a 70% chance of rain with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the lower 60s. Tonight we'll have scattered showers with highs in the mid 80s and lows in the upper 60s. Tomorrow should be clear with highs in the lower 80s and lows in the lower 50s. Now let's go to World News with Joey. Hello everybody. Today is scholarship day for seniors. That's and why we're all dressed up. Yeah. Yes, that's true. And today we're going to really talk about and we're going to stress for the underclassmen to really get involved with stuff. Yep. All right, guys, if you come here every day for four years, or I don't know how long you come here. I've been here for a lot longer than I thought I was going to be. And uh, you don't do anything, you get a high school diploma. If you come in here to Tompkins class, or you join band, or you do some kind of sports, you get something that could be essentially a career, or, I mean, it's not just a waste of time. You get something you can be happy about. I enjoy coming in here and doing this show, and uh, I think a lot of people like to, if you get, get involved, then, I don't know, you have something to take away with you instead of just some of our seniors that are just leaving, they ain't got nowhere to go, no idea what they're doing. Really, this show is really good. Like, some people will look at this and just be like, I can't do this, My, I, I'm just too nervous of a person. I've done this, this is my second semester and now I'm actually doing this and I actually love doing this. And sports also, you gotta get involved with sports and band. Just And band, they need a whole lot of people in band, so if you ever thought about maybe doing it, give it a try. I mean, what's, gonna, what's the worst that could happen? And seniors, you only got two more days left, so yeah, we can't much do more time. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Let's head over to the PSA. A lot of people think that uh, construction is just a bunch of hard work and uh, no benefits, that, uh, that that's all you can do in life if you can't get a real job. That's not the case. Being able to read a blueprint to put these pieces up together perfectly it takes a lot of talent. Not your everyday guy can just walk up and look at a blueprint and say, oh, okay, yeah, I'll just go ahead and build this power plant. It takes years of practice, experience, and communication between all crafts and people. After three years and 720 miles between them, a New Mexico man and his beloved pooch, Brownie, were reunited in San Diego County. The seven-year-old Labrador Retriever was spotted wandering the streets last week in the Ote Mesa area when someone scooped him up and took him to the County Animal Services Care Facility in Benita. Animal service workers traced his microchip to the dog's owner in Santa Teresa, New Mexico, Ricardo Dominguez. Dominguez was alerted to the amazing discovery last, last, late last week when his girlfriend called him. Now let's go to sports with Joey and Tanner. Hello everybody, welcome to Sports, I'm Joey. And I'm Tanner. Today we just want to actually just wish the sports teams of the future good luck to the baseball team, basketball team, and football team. I hope y'all do great. Also the girls sports, you know, volleyball, softball, basketball. Everybody, just hope y'all do good. We'll be around. Y'all we'll have the Chattanooga games. We'll come see those. That'll be fun. We'll Give us something to do. But everybody, do great. And don't take time and just not give your best. She'll regret it. You'll regret it when it's all over. Now, let's head over to Raleigh with lunch.
Good morning, you guys. Today's lunch in line one is barbecue rib parry, sweet potato rounds, beans, fruit, and milk. Line two is pork roast, potatoes, roll, fruit, and milk. Breakfast in line one is biscuit, eggs, and gravy, and line two is biscuit and sausage and nuts. All for lunch and breakfast. Now let's go to local news with Lainey. That's okay, baby. By canceling its conference in Tennessee next year, the American Counseling Association wants to put other states on notice that the new LGBT law can carry consequences, the group leader said. The cancellation announced Tuesday had been hinted at after the Tennessee General Assembly passed a new law letting therapists decline to see patients based on religious values and personal principles. It's aimed at preventing similar measures elsewhere. Our message to other states is don't introduce bills that are essentially legalizing discrimination, said Richard Yep, the organization's CEO. It is discriminating against those who are at least able to fight back. This situation is all about perspective, as it turns out. Now to a word from our sponsors. The challenges facing the country never stop. So neither does the U.S. Army. We train, adapt, and get smarter. Every soldier, every unit, every day. Not to keep up with change, but to drive it. Nobody knows what problems tomorrow will bring. But we do know who will solve them. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Colton. And that's Joey. For today's announcements. Uh, seniors, we've got to play that diploma cover fee. I think there's only one person left, or that might Two have already three, been taken. I, don't know. I paid mine, so there's only one left. Today is scholarship day at 9.30. Also, seniors, do not forget to log in your community service hours as soon as possible. Also, copies of the senior video will be $5, so better get that. That would be pretty important. See Caroline Allen to purchase yeah. your copy. And there are eight days till graduation. Not well, happy about it. All right. Somebody's finally getting on my side. All right, so there ain't no birthdays today, so. Oh, this is pretty important, too. They are having a pro wrestling fundraiser. These guys are pretty good. They come into the school Saturday, May 21st, 2016, in the Copper Basin High School gym. And the doors open at 6 o'clock. Um, bell time is at 7 o'clock. You can get tickets for $10 a piece. If, you're, if you guys got any kids under four, they're getting for free. So, yeah, I think they're going to have this. I think they posted this on school's Facebook page and a lot of other things, but we'll be continuing to announce it until it happens. So, okay. Okay. I guess that's all we have for today. Yep, so we'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News and 9.